Greetings everyone! So you want to learn how to do an e-core setup? Well, today's a lucky day, because here is a guide on how to do it step by step. So please, take notes and enjoy! So, let's begin. To start off, we have a power source of a wind turbine and four solar panels at the moment, connected to a roof combiner. As we can see here, we're getting 218 power at the moment. Gonna start with a splitter. To the left of it, we have a memory cell. Then we got two branches. And to the right hand side, we got a force switch. And next to it, our final lore switch, which is our end product. I'm going to set up this setup to a switch so I can switch on and off when I want to. Here we got the blocker. And then we're going to go into the splitter, setting up our first two wires into the memory cell. And the third one into the block path through. Then we're going to go with the white wire into the first branch and from the branch we're going to use blue wiring and we're going to set the first one to 100 and the second one to 4. Then I want to connect my power out from my first branch to the power in from the second branch and then the branch out to the memory cell from the memory cell we're going for the OR switch, the final OR switch. Looks a bit like this. Next off, from the blocker, going to the next socket in the final OR switch. I'm just going to put this as show as the final OR switch connected to the auto turrets. And just for educational purposes, I am going to set a counter between those. So you can track on the power that's going between them. Setting it right here. From the power out, goes into the power in. And there we go. Pass through into the power in. And we can see it's passing through zero power. Now with the light blue wiring, we're going for the second branch. So branch empty out, the four power goes into a splitter. So we can see now those are getting power. And our battery shown as red wiring. Battery output goes into the blocker. Like this. And it is being blocked off by the splitter as we can see here. So the second socket from the branch with the light blue, we gonna go to our second or switch. And now we're going to set up the leftover power that we have right into our battery. Let's set a counter here so you can keep a track on it. Red wire for battery. Going to the counter. Press E to customize your counter. And it goes into the battery. We are now getting 82 power into the battery. And as you can see right here, we have a total of 186 in incoming power from our wind turbine and solar panels. And this is how you can see where it's going and how it is distributed. And finally, we're going to hook up the last wire to our memory cell with the yellow wire into our last socket in the OR switch. 
and that is pretty much the whole system. Let's fire it up. We can now hear our auto turrets is functioning. And as we can see here, there's no power drawn from the battery. However, should a, let's say a wind turbine go away, we're now connected to our battery and the power is going from the battery. And if we connect the wind turbine once again, it's gonna, there we go, here. Now when the wind turbine is connected again, we can see that active usage of our battery is zero. And everything is working as intended. With that, I'd like to thank you for watching. If there was anything I missed out or if there was anything you're wondering about, please put it in the comments. And as always, see you in the next one.